Okay, Baz Dubois, thank you for joining Mox TV Talk. Thanks for having me, Steve. Baz, we are seeing you currently on uh, Channel 10's uh, renovation hit, The Renovators. Uh, and they, look, you're working your butt off on that. Well, I'm one of the people that's working. I think the contestants are working their butts off, though. They're amazing. Yeah, absolutely. But it's, it's, it's a big point of difference. We're seeing the judges, you know, knuckle in and, and do a whole bunch of stuff. Not just in, say, the how-to shows on Friday night, but during the course of the show, you know, particularly even this week. Yeah, well, this week we've been in Brisbane helping out some flood victims and uh, some, uh, some of the communities that are affected by the flood. So it was pretty hard, especially for me, uh, not to get involved in that. I'm a hands-on sort of a guy, and, and Brendan and Peter are as well. And, and Robin was just so taken by uh, what we were doing. She was keen to get into it as well, so it was great. Mostly she went shopping, but she, uh, she still loved it. Now, there was a lot of talk when the renovators first hit our screens yeah. about the judges. And, and look, TV audiences are always going to say who are they, particularly if they've never seen them before. Mm. Um, people that had access to pay TV knew a bit about Brendan. Yeah. You know, they'd seen him a bit before there. Yeah, he's amazing. But yourself, Robin and Peter, kind of a bit of out-of-the-box surprise. And, and there was lots of um, discussion around you know, the, the Silver Fox in, in <laughs> Baz. A lot of the ladies said that certainly they'd be the one they'd prefer to take home. Yeah, right. How did you get into this? How did you get your opportunity to get into the renovators? Uh, a cast of thousands approached me. Uh, yeah. They were apparently recommended by a few different people uh, that I might be good at this. Uh, uh, I didn't think that was the case. Uh, <laughs> I was reluctant to come in. I knocked them back a couple of times and said, it's not for me, I haven't got the head for TV. And I have a pretty interesting life. I've been retired for, at the time, five years. I spend mm -hmm. half my year in Europe and half my year in Australia. So uh, it didn't sort of suit my schedule. I said I'd come in and do some consultancy, which yep. I thought was interesting because I, I still like to be a little bit involved in things. Yep. Uh, but when I met the Fennessy brothers and particular, and then uh, Paul Franklin, I could see that these guys uh, were real lateral thinkers, really interesting men. Mm. And uh, I met the EP, Judy Smart, who I thought also was a really interesting person. I love lateral thinkers. Yep. I, I love people that think outside the box. So all of a sudden I wanted to be involved with them. Um, I guess at the same time, without realising, I was going through a, uh, a re uh, what do they call it, a, when, when you try out for a show, a not a rehearsal, a uh, oh, audition, process. audition process. And yeah, yeah. Uh, then when I realised that, the, uh, that I wanted to do it, uh, I think I was two parts of the way through the uh, audition. <laughs> nice. Well, look, it's, it's uh, the good thing is that we're seeing, you know, you four, the four judges for the renovators, line yeah. up each week. Uh, and present a really strong combined front yeah. uh, around either whether it's the knowledge on what the challenges are, um, just the knowledge around you know, renovation. You guys mm. each bring strengths. Peter is an architect, Robin mm. is a designer, mm. Brennan is a landscaper, and Definitely. yourself as a, as a builder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's not like you just sort of, oh, I took up building since I retired. You've been building, no, doing build stuff all your life. I mean, and we all have. I, 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 I've said it a couple of times now, I'm learning a lot on the show. Now, I've been in the game for 35 years, but. Uh, Peter's a fantastic architect. He's got a really broad scope. Robin yep. has credentials that are second to none, in my opinion. And you've seen from uh, Dry Spell and other shows that Brendan's got. He's an amazing landscape architect. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as as well as myself, I've had 35 years in the game. I've been buying and re buying and selling real estate since I was 18. So uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, done. I've done reasonably well out of that, as well as run a, a pretty substantial building company right up till about five years ago, which my brother's taken over. So I yeah. still still have my uh, paws in the milk, so to speak. <laughs> now you're living in Bondi yeah. when you're in Australia. Yeah. So you'd have a pretty good view on a day to day basis. Yeah. Yeah. But you've also got your roots spread pretty pretty widely through Sydney. Mm -hmm. You know, you've lived in Liverpool. You've you've been around a bit. Mm. So seeing the the six and and as a as a developer, yeah. seeing the six different houses on the mm. renovators, you would see, you know, some gold and some gems and potential in each of the properties. Do you think that the contestants? Uh, have really developed those six properties to the best that they can be. I think uh, I think the twenty percent budget is a real good figure to work on. I yep. think uh, I think we brought the, the houses very well, and yep. I've always said you make your money when you buy the houses. Yep. Uh, and the houses were bought really well right across Sydney, which is really interesting. Uh, the, the different skill sets that all that the contestants have, yep. yeah, we've 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 really maximised the potential of all these properties, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Now, aside from the judges, the mm -hmm. 24 contestants that we've had working through uh, the renovators this season uh, bring such varied stories. Definitely. You know, definitely. it's not like we've just got 24 chippies or 24 plumbers. No. You know, we've got designers, we've got people that have got skills in plumbing or skills in tiling. Yep. Uh, as well as careers, you know, we, we think about guys that, that are, are builders themselves. Mm. 
through the process though we're seeing a lot of well we're seeing all of them pick up skills that they didn't have what what for you has been you know some of the biggest changes or some of the biggest skill additions for the contestants well it's been amazing i mean there's a few rough heads like myself michael lukey jared <laughs> nath you know and they uh they, they come into the set with good hand skills you yep. know give them a block of timber a saw and a hammer they can do just about anything yep. but I defy anybody to spend time with Robin and not learn about styling. Yeah. She has an amazing eye. She's got a real true sense of balance and yeah. uh, she's yeah. quite infectious when she starts to talk about it as well. Yeah. So you do listen and you do learn. So those guys have, as I said, gone from like rough head chippies and, and tradesmen. I mean, Nathan was a demolisher yeah. uh, to, I believe, you know, having a real keen eye for style. And then on the other hand, you've got these uh, people like Mel and Tina Kathy and uh, Lisa, all designers, yes. uh, strong design d design skills. And uh, I remember when we did the Friday Night How To Challenge, uh, Tina ended up really loving tiling. And, and women are, uh, sounds sexist, but women are great at listening. And uh, once you tell them once how to do something right, they, yes. they, they get real good at it real quick. And I mean, hand skills are just that. Yeah. Know? Look, and, and we're seeing the evidence of that in how the houses are developing, yep. each of the properties. Um, right now, well, this week, as you said, you've been in Brisbane. We've seen the teams yeah. uh, helping us a part of the, the uh, clean-up after the, the Queensland yes. floods from earlier this year. Yeah. And we've seen some great output from the guys involved. It was good to have the eliminated guys back to help out with some of mm. that. Mm. Uh, but the community hall at Dara, uh, the sculpture stuff. Yeah, uh, um, that, South Bank. That's come out at South Bank. There were some amazing results out of the teams there. Yeah, and the, and the home at Goodner as well, which yeah. is amazing. You know, uh, as I said before, we went up to Queensland. I experienced floods in my life. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty tough. And the tough thing about it is it's, it's very daunting when you arrive there. And um, I was worried that the, the challenge was going to seem too much for the guys, yeah. but honestly, they um, they were chomping at the bit. You know, it was yeah. beautiful to watch. And, and as you said earlier about us getting involved, it was really infectious. We saw that there was a challenge, uh, a real big challenge there, and it was yeah. just great to be a part of that. Uh, I think. I don't know if you remember, but when they were doing the chairs uh, for, for South Bank, I mean, it, it was, uh, they were exhausted, but doing those chairs and expressing themselves like that was like a, like a rest for them. And uh, they were working their hearts out of that factory, but still yeah, yeah. somehow they, they were seeing it as a rest. And uh, it's, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy the, the work ethic they have. It's also, I guess, a change in environment and change in scenery too. You know, if you're not always having to rip plaster down or paint something or tile something, you know, mm. to work with a, a different material yeah. and, yeah. and to, to have that creative element around it, you know, what can we do? Mm. Uh, mm. I think that helps bring some, some energy back into it and re-energise the team. Definitely, definitely. Um, as a part of the, the show, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty... It's a broad stroke, you know. It, we, we have four really energetic presenters, mm. and that translates well on the screen. You know, I don't think we've had the same kind of energy and, and hands-on uh, ability and how they involve themselves in the show before, and that, mm. that's huge. And then we've got, on the other side of things, 24 contestants who are, A, ex ex sponges. They all appreciate they the position they're in. They want to learn stuff. But, B, they also want to show, these are the skills I've got, and these are my ideas, and I think... I can turn my property into you know, the most profitable or the, the best, uh, yeah, the best one of the six. Yeah. Knowing that we're nearly at the end from a filming perspective, but we're we're getting there uh, in a show perspective. Yeah. What sort of things can we expect to see out of the contestants over the coming weeks? Mm. I don't want to give too much away, but I'll say this: if you can imagine, Sorry, no one will, no one will know, no, no, no one will see anything. If you can imagine it, these guys can build it. You know, that, that, that's the level I want to take them to. That's how I want to present these guys. Yes. After what happened, uh, particularly this week in Queensland, I believe whatever that you can imagine, yes. uh, these renovators can create. And I think that's a beautiful place to be. It was interesting just listening to your talk. I was thinking about the guys when we came up to Queensland. There's another thing that uh, I'm sure it go, it's seen in the show, but these people have worked together, sweated together, cried together, and um, and got sunburnt together for a better for a better term. And they formed some really strong bonds there, yeah. and um, particularly when we came up to Queensland, Lukey, who's from the Gold Coast, he's a Queenslander, and uh, Natalia's a Queenslander. Yeah. 
this is a real heartfelt time for those guys and the others really rallied behind them as well yeah. and uh, you know I don't think there was uh, anybody unhappy that Natalia took out the challenge at South yeah. Bank I mean and not that there ever w would be but we're all so passionate about each other yeah. and, and, and the tasks at hand. It's amazing. Uh, I, I love real estate. I love building because of the characters that it creates. Yeah. And I said it on the show, uh, uh, this show, this these 16 or whatever weeks that it, it is, you're getting 30 years of camaraderie yeah. in 16 weeks. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think you could work this out in, 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 that, in that amount of time. It's amazing. Now look, and that's fair. Look, I... I Personal favourite, absolutely love Natalia's She's chair. Great. The way she incorporated the yeah. ibis yeah. into it and the, and the uh, the mangroves into the the floor, the yeah. back and the seat, just looked spectacular. All of the the seats though, the outcomes were, were amazing, really, really good products. Yeah. Uh, and it's interesting. I mean, we're sitting uh, in a cafe at Rosalie in Brisbane right yeah. now. Where we are now, we would be underwater when the yeah. floods were on. And just to see. A, the, the place come back to life, mm, um, mm. but also for the renovators and their involvement in helping get those things, like the, the couple of good the beautiful. renovation on that house mm, was just mm. outstanding. Yeah, it was. And you, those people, like the, also the people from the community hall at Dara, they were sort of spent, those people. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. They were exhausted. I mean, uh, you, you could read that on their faces that... They were at the bottom of their, their time. They, they couldn't feel any worse. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was a great feeling. I mean, you saw the guys run up the stairs to get into that. We couldn't wait. Yeah. And obviously we had a lot of help from, from tradies from the area, from Bunnings, uh, uh, Homes for Humanity. They, yeah. were, they were a big help there. It was, it was a great experience. I loved it. Such a good opportunity and a great model mm -hmm. to have television shows. I mean, there's... A cynic might say that, oh, they're just doing it for the promotion or whatever. And, sure. and it, it's all about making good TV, there's no question. Yeah. But it's very clear that this was an opportunity from the producer's point of view mm. and then, by extension, the cast's point of view to yeah. get in and, and give something back. Sure, sure. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, it's funny for me to say, because I've been a builder for 35 years, but we're making TV, we're yeah. making telly. But I said something to uh, Hinksy on the radio the other day, you know, when you're going well, you don't need anything. Yep. When you're doing a tough, that's when you need a mate. And you know, yep. Queensland's our mate, and these guys, yep. uh, we, we saw these people as mates that just need a hand, you yep. know? Once they're up on their feet again, yeah, they might not need much, but at the moment, they needed some help, and yep. uh, it was amazing. Now, you're in Brisbane at the moment, because uh, you're up here for a special screening to support a charity tonight. Yeah, uh, Alan Bramney runs a, a charity up in Darwin. It's just kids that are sort of victims of the system. Yep. Um, you know, that they haven't had a good trip and, and what Alan does is takes them out to his property which is about 300 miles from nowhere out of Darwin, it's yeah. a secret location and basically he has a method of just allowing the kids in their own time to release what's the demons that are inside them and sometimes that can be, you know, they can be a bit violent or, yeah. they, they, but they've been uh, hurt one way or another yeah. in their lives and uh, and I saw the documentary on the ABC a couple of months ago and I just said I, I need to help that guy uh, yeah. whichever way I can I threw some money at it but I've realized with this little bit of notoriety I can help him in other ways as well so uh, yeah that's what I'm up here tonight for and uh, there's plenty of good people in Brisbane prepared to help him as well so that's great excellent so that's the Brahmini group Brahmini group yeah well, well make sure that we get the, a link to the website up as great. part of the article for this thank you people thank you. can uh, can follow through oh mate look, seriously it's it's not an issue thank you for your time thank you um, just to help round out the interview and, and, and to talk through this we know that the end result for the renovators yeah. is that um we've, we've had eliminations and they will continue a bit we're, we're going to get to a point where we've ultimately got six people left that's it and, but we can only have one winner yeah now that's going to be a fairly torrid time i'd expect as far as the challenges go and the, do we know what kinds of things can they expect it, it it's uh it's a uh, Amazing time, a sad time, uh, and uh, a great time. I mean, someone, one key holder is going to win the profits from all six houses. That is life-changing. That's no small cost. Uh, uh, yeah, it, 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 it could be any amount. It could be up to half a million dollars mm -hmm. if we're lucky. I mean, we, know, we won't know to the hammer falls on yeah. the last uh, one. And, and even me, I'm a bit of an expert, uh, but it's hard to pick the market. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it does go to say, though, that in a, in a, in a property market that's on the uh, decline, I yeah. think we're going to see decent profit. That tells us, or tells me at the very least, we've done something right. Yes. You know, if you can make money out of real estate in this day and age, you're doing okay. And, you ha and to do that, you've got to do quality.
quality craftsmanship and uh, and 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 understand your demographic. Yeah. Only time will tell, but I think we'll I think we'll have some of us and be very happy on the last ball of the hammer. Mate. We're, we're certainly looking forward to seeing the end result. You know, there's been a lot of work going into those houses and, and yep. more to come yep. from what we'll see on television. Uh, it would have been very reassuring for all you guys to hear Channel 10 announce that the renovators will be back yeah. in 2012. And, and I think that the market as a whole are, are warming to the show now. They will continue to warm to that. Yep. Yep. Um, if for nothing else, then the, through the energy of the presenters, you, you four, Brendan, <laughs> Robin, Peter and yourself, yeah. um, not only present a great United Front, but years of experience, a lot sure. of great information. And, and we see that come out every Friday night in the How To Show, which yeah. is one of my favourite parts of the show to... to I'm enough enough, <laughs> helping me understand how to lay a tile or what we do and, and the impact of this is how we build this or do this with the yeah. uh, build the formwork to make the concrete. It's okay. amazing. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely awesome and we benefit from that as viewers checking that out each week. Mm. Um, I think more than anything, it's, it's been a bit of a surprise. You know, The renovators came in and everyone said, oh, it's just like MasterChef and, and absolutely the production team make no excuses and apologies if they've modelled it on that. Same production team. That's right. <laughs> But what we're seeing is, is a, a show with a lot of heart and yeah. humanity about it. It's not just another reality game, you know, mm, mm. game show. No. Uh, it's, it's, it's real people being impacted and real people growing and learning around how they deliver what they do that could become their life. Yeah, I mean, simple fact is Australia is one of the youngest nations on earth and uh, building and creating is in our genes still. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're still on the urban sprawl. We're still, we love nothing better than to use our hands. It wasn't so long ago we were, you know, just building the Harbour Bridge as a nation. That's you know, right. It just wasn't that long ago. I mean, in my time, they built the Opera House. I mean, we, we love that stuff. Yeah. We love to create. And, you know, it's an interesting place that we live, Australia. It's a big island yep. and uh, we, we spread right around the outside of it. So, and you've seen this in the show, the guys from Western Australia build slightly different to the guys in South Australia and different again to the guys in New South Wales mm -hmm. and the girls in Queensland. But all those skills are coming together in these houses as well. And I think that's what makes it interesting. The fact that we've got all this uh, collected skill set from all over the country. Yep. Very rarely, I mean, I'm in a part of the Master Builders Association, as you know. Very rarely do you get these people from all over the country coming together to do the same thing. And so uh, that, that makes for an interesting um, um, fact as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's got possibly the biggest set known to Australian television in the warehouse. Uh, it's brought six you know, houses in various states of repair together and they're turning out to be an absolute treat. Yep. All through the efforts of these, these 24 people yeah. that are learning from you guys. And well, they're learning from each other as well and that's yep. part of that set. You know, a, a lot of people say, oh, get them out to the houses. But as I've said several times, they're learning incredible skills in that warehouse. Mm. I mean, in those white rooms especially, they're learning yes. skill sets that they didn't have. Michael and Jared particularly. Yep. They had no styling ability whatsoever, but that, that Moroccan room that they created yeah. with the help of August and, uh, and their grey team turned out amazing. And the results of that will be seen at the auctions in the, in the uh, Fibro Cottage because it's styled yeah. amazingly. Well, we're looking forward to those auctions. They're coming very, very soon in real life yep. uh, and in, in a few weeks on television. And that will round out season one of the renovators. But we uh, have enjoyed so far, certainly, your time on, on screen, Baz. And, and thank you for your time now. Thank you, mate. Good Cheers. luck. Thanks for having me.